Ew, he's got some snout in his nose. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Well, how, geez, can you not yell at me? How are you guys doing? It's Super Turtle. Guys, today we are going to be freaking automating this guy. It's going to be legit. Uh, we talked about it last episode, but today is the day, guys. We're going to be automating all of this. We're also going to be putting some of this back in here. Yeah, perfect. And uh, I want to show you guys something I have found. So we were... Oh my goodness, guys, can you believe we are selling these Super Turtle 5K shirts? I hope you guys all give them a check out and make sure you get them if you want them because they're not going to last. They are leaving August 1st. They will not be here. So make sure you get them while they're hot. We're using these uh, basic universal cables from Mechanism, but uh, the problem is, is it's, for some reason, allowing this thing to transfer at max speed. But I found a solution to that. If we use these basic cables from power, these only allow a 1.4K FE per tick transfer over to here. So what that means is we can have the reactor run it and this run it and this will start to deplete the power. It will get to a certain point to where the cable is transferring all that it can transfer and we'll still have power left over for the rest of our system. And as you can see here, it kind of just balances out over here but we're not losing power, we're still gaining power over here because we're generating 6.4 KRF per tick right now, which is dope. But this also means that we can let this thing run. And I want to get it to a point where we don't have to touch it anymore. It automatically processes the um, all of the, the power, raw uranite, and stuff like that, and all the copper and all that so that we can just go AFK. This thing will run and give us some fun. All right, so you may be asking yourself, okay, so how are we gonna automate that so we can just leave it alone? Well, what we're gonna need is an exporter. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some cables here. I had everything planned out except for this step. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this all um, hooked up over here. So we're gonna run a cable. Now I believe we can run a cable to the bottom of this. So it'll still look good. Yes, we sure can. Okay, so if we put an exporter here, we should be able to run a cable back to our our refined storage system. So I'm gonna see if we can run one probably through, uh, now, uh, probably through this bottom one. Okay, we're close. Um, storage drawers, I don't know. Okay, so we're a little too, oh, look at that. <gasps> Would you just look at that? It's beautiful. Oh, I fall down. Okay, so let's just take this cable, bring on through to the other side, and we will, yeah, exactly, bring it over here. What the frick? Can you place right, please? Bam. Very cool. Okay, that's too tall to do that. That's fine. Okay, so we have it set up over here now. So we needed to export redstone, coal, uranite. And we're going to use these snowballs for now for the cooling. Uh, and I've also gone ahead and made some speed upgrades here. So this should be quick. As you can see, yep, it's filling everything up. So as soon as these come into our system here, it's going to throw it over into this. We're also going to set up some dry ice just in case we ever do get some here. And we're going to put all the different uh, snow items, the items that we're going to use for the cooling, because these are very important. But we'll have these over here. This is minus 32 degrees Celsius. That is phenomenal. Oh, that's probably why we're producing so much power. All right, so we have this all set up. I'm going to put a torch down here. I don't want to close up our access all the way. Uh, but that is technically ready to go. Uh, but we also need to make an importer for this thing um, because the items here aren't going to do that well. So we're going to need to make one more importer and one more exporter because we need to do things. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm standing on that. Oh, uh, so we have a few things here. Oh, that, those kind of fixed themselves, but the drives didn't. That's a little weird. Anyway, uh, we have the importer exporter here. I have eight speed upgrades for uh, four for each of these. We also have these void upgrades because... On these corners here, I want to go ahead and add these in because these are going to be where we put all of our stuff for our, from our quarry here. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is let this run for a bit. Actually, I believe we're okay still. Uh, yeah, we're going to take some of all the stuff that we don't want a whole lot of. And we're going to put it over there. So dark stone, um, probably. Uh, slate, uh, yeah. Uh, I already have that. Um, do, 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 do. dry ice, we're good there. Diorite, we definitely don't want any diorite. Definitely don't want any granite. Raw stuff here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Uh, I don't have the basalt either. We can just get some of that from the, the nether whenever we want some. So let's go ahead and we're gonna enter these in to our, 
Right, we should easily have enough just on that right side. And so these are only gonna allow a certain amount in before they start destroying the items, which is what we need. Perfect, we also get this guy here in the bottom. All right, so now when we turn this thing on, uh, those items won't clog our system. You know, They won't take up a whole bunch of storage because they're just gonna go into that certain amount. It'll only store about three stacks or something like that. And then it'll just start destroying everything else, which is amazing. So now, instead of having a trash can process go, we can have our ME storage system take this on. Take on, yeah, I can't sing that. Um, let's see here, we're gonna have it, this is, we're gonna actually break this, we're gonna put this lever on the front. We are gonna place this here because we don't want water, water there. We're also gonna go down like a so where we see the cable perfect um so we just need the importer here can you shut up sheep please so we're gonna put that there this is gonna have the speed upgrades on it we might actually uh, put in a stack upgrade here if it's not enough i uh, didn't realize we could actually do that but we can very cool okay so just straight up from here straight on through up into there 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 Yep, so that, yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna throw the speed upgrade on that, or the stack upgrade. Uh, if we have one stack upgrade and three of the speeds, it is gnarly quick. All right, so we got one stack upgrade here, so let's go ahead and put this in. Yep, so it's still processing. We're gonna take one of the speed upgrades out. Yeah, as you can see, it is much faster. Oh man, look at that go. Oh, it's so good. And it should be putting items in here already. I don't know if it did or not. Um, okay, so this is good. Flip the switch, flip the switch. Hmm, okay. It does have all that extra power, so it might take it a second here. Um, how are you? How are you able to sustain that? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so yeah, okay, it is working. We are. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know, but all right. <laughs> I love it. So let's see here. Um, yep, yeah, we should see our auto processing. Yeah, our auto processing system is running. Look at that. These guys are definitely going to need some speed upgrades, but that's okay. It's beautiful. Okay, so we also need a separate smelting factory. Um, I actually, I'm so glad that we made this because we're going to use this. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we do have all forms of the uranite. Perfect. So this guy, this guy, and this guy, the raw stuff. Now we are going to set up a an exporter to here. Um, actually, we need the smelting factory to do that. I lied, we need to make a smelting factory. Shoot. All right guys, so I'm down here in the processing room and if we look over here, you can see that I've got something kind of set up over here. It's pretty neat, I like it a little bit. So this is our, uh, this is gonna be our uranite processing system here. So we have an exporter up top. So all we need to do is set that to configure here. So we are getting power from the back here. We're getting our input from the top and our export, export out the bottom. So as long as we just throw these in here, yep, these are rocking and rolling. Very cool, very cool, very cool. We'll throw a speed upgrade in here, but then these will start to export and we will get the uranite here. So now that part, the whole power processing part of that is officially complete. Uh, we're, look at this, we're already starting to get some diamonds too. Look at that, boom, 10 diamonds. That's more diamonds we had than when we started, perfect. Yeah, as you can see, this is going up 134. As soon as it smelts, it gives us a bunch of them. It's really cool, look at that, we're already up to 138. We're going down on here, oh my gosh, this is amazing. How are we doing? All right, okay, so redstone's good. Dry ice is backing up, perfect. Uh, we do want a bigger supply of this. Uh, this is getting all done ski. Look at that, beautiful. Somehow it's staying up at the limit. I think it's just learned maybe that it's fine or not enough power, but it has so much power. I don't know what's going on, but it's beautiful. 
Okay, so I'm down here at the processing room here, and we've got these all maxed out, which is amazing. Look at these. Eight eight uh, process or eight speed upgrades, eight of energy efficient upgrades. So each of these only uses 50 EU. Um, I don't know. Oh, so it's 200 FE per tick. Uh, that's what each of these uses here. So as a total, we're using 800 FE per tick. Let's go ahead and have a look at our system up here. See how we're doing. Uh, we are doing just fine here. If not, we're wasting some stuff. But we have our quarry running all the time now. Uh, we have our system processing all the ores that are coming in. Uh, let's go ahead and check just to make sure that all the ores that are coming in are getting processed. Okay, down here, tin and lead, I think, are left out. Um... Let's have a looky looky here. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't need business. We don't get that much. So we will put lead here. Yeah, okay. Lead, 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 lead. Tin is here as well, but there looked like a different tin. Yeah, it's a different tin. Different tin. We can go ahead and get that processing as well. Um, cause over here we got bismuth, we got zinc, we got nickel. So we don't really need nickel over here. So we can get it processing over here as well, which is awesome. I do want to go ahead and get some speed upgrades into those guys. So we're going to need a total of eight speed upgrades. Okay, perfect. So probably going to need some more processor binding. Yep. Okay. We got it. Perfect. Should set up an auto crafting recipe for that. Ah, we're missing quartz. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a few of the speed upgrades. Actually, we should have. Oh, we just need to make one more of these. Cool. And we need the sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. We need to set these up in those little bonsai pot things. Because then we'll just have sugar cane coming. And we can just leave those ones that we want. And we can have deliciousness of the sugar. Any other. All right. Speed upgrade. Very cool. Uh, why... Tell you what, I almost think it's worth it not to have the sorting on so this stops happening. We'll see if that's any good. Um, we're actually going to put, yeah, we're going to put them up here. We're going to try two here. We're going to try two here. We're going to try two here. And two here see if this helps at all okay we're definitely getting seems to be working pretty good yeah all right so whenever our system now that everything's caught up it's definitely going to be doing better let's just go ahead here we're gonna add those in oh look at that we got gold very cool what do we got over here we got lots of tin we're gonna have so much tin guys oh my gosh and I believe this is 10. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I am out. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone. I love you. Bye-bye.